Shane, the penultimate game of the day on pitch one, the 7 p.m. kickoff, the mixed open, Japan taking on the France Barbarians. And uh, what a day of rugby we've had, Shane. Oh, it's been brilliant. Uh, the weather was a bit uh, mixed, we'll say, uh, in the middle of the day, but uh, it's cleared up again nicely now for this last game, and or second last, and, and hopefully we'll continue for the last. Yeah, um, the weather only added to all the, the thrills and spills. Exactly. And uh, yeah, credit to the ground staff of UL. The, the pitch still in great nick after the rainfall and after several games played in it today. And uh, these two teams should be evenly matched in this mixed open. Yeah, you think so? Um, it's two teams we haven't got to see yet so far on uh, pitch one. Uh, not seen them in any division, um, and here they are at mixed opens, which uh, is it's a great division really you know it's 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 exciting as we've said in previous matches we've covered um getting those extra points for a girl uh and here we see the french team and of course yeah another full squad from a, a mixed open side and it makes sense when you have a panel of uh, men and women to choose from that uh, you pack the squad as much as you can and uh, certainly France Barbarians have opted to do that. So we're just awaiting the starting clocks in here. Japan ready to go and uh, their squad also looking well stocked. Yeah, and at this moment, Shane, you know, you've played in big, big finals back in Cork. You've played in Munster Leinster games. You know, what are the thoughts, you know, just these few minutes before kickoff? I think a lot of the time you just want to get going, you know. It is, isn't it? It's just you're there now, you're ready to go. Yeah, you get in your head a bit um, and, you know, just waiting and waiting. It's, uh, it is nice to just hear that whistle, get going and, and get your head really into the game. Uh, yeah. And a uh, fun fact, this is the first game we've had on pitch one with the referee not wearing pink. The, uh, the referee wearing the kind of an orangey gold number. And uh, the first non-pink referee's top we've got to look at. Yeah, Stylish likely, as uh, ever. Likely to avoid clashing with the Japan kit. Um, or maybe not to clash with the other referees who want to stand out. Yeah. This referee saw Oppenheimer instead of Barbie. <laughs> Didn't want to wear the pink kit. <laughs> Yeah, two minutes to game time, and uh, the Japan team will kick first. Of course, this mixed opens game, Japan taking on France Barbarians. I can only imagine that these guys were too vicious to be on the, the standard France team. Their barbaric tagging led to the formation of the France Barbarians. Yeah. Of course, what it really is is that France have enough quality players at mixed open level to enter two teams into this World Cup. Well, that's one theory, Shane. <laughs> we'll see in the opening few minutes <laughs> which one makes more sense. So you're expecting but a lot of contact? A lot of cool leggings there on the, the Japanese number 11, Kizuki Terashita. Is that like a lightning design down his uh, left calf? Yeah, his right calf? Nice. There's a lot of... Uh, or else he's got terrible veins visible <laughs> through, the, through that leggings. It's a Maybe. cool design. And good dance moves to go with it. A lot of uh, great kits here. A lot of call. great kits, yeah. Talk about Merry Kitmas. It has, uh, yeah, sublime, sublime kits on display over the last two days. What's been your favourite? Whoa, I love them all, Shane. I love them all. Can't pick your favourite child. Can't, yeah, ask me towards the end of the week. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep an eye on it, but so far, I love the the New Zealand kits. The New Zealand, the yeah, yeah, the Exiles white. kit was lovely. The shorts are, are great. That's split down the middle. Um, and this Japan kit, I like it too. I like it, yeah, I yeah. Like it. Different design to what we've seen so far from any other team. 
Marinch has got 10 seconds now to go till we get kicked off here on pitch one with Japan Mixed Open versus France Barbarians. And it looks like it's going to be Fuya Yoshizumi to kick us off. Gathered by France and brought up by Alexandra Delatre. Oh, and a fumble there. And gifted possession back to Japan. But the player didn't take it from the mark, so go back. Number seven there of Japan, Lachlan Grieve. <laughs> Looks like tag one there, I think, because there might have been a late tag. So the ref is playing advantage. Um, so this is tag two. Japan with a couple of chances to go at this line. And did they get over? Oh, I think the, the player mistook oh, the... Oh, they went too early. It got me as well. The 10-meter cone for the try line. Yeah, practicing how she put the ball down for a try. Yes. But they're getting it out to this opposite wing well. Oh, and was there a bit of blocking there? Unfortunate. The pass went forward and... Uh, Possession back to France. Yeah, just some early pressure from Japan, forcing France Bavarians to defend. And France Bavarians looking to launch an attack of their own. Through their number four, Kevin Seru. Almost intercepted there, but knocked on by the Japan player. So it's a fresh tag count for France, and they will look to attack from here. Good loop around to the left, good hands. Great tag too. Stops Olivier Bobisson. Bit of contact there by the attacking player, just backing up into the Japan defenders. So, penalty Japan. Number seven, Lachlan Grieve. Good step to get away from his marker and a nice pass out to the wing. They're making good ground Japan at the moment. Good bit of dancing and uh, the ref has ruled that the contact took down that player. So a penalty to Japan. Oh, great pass. Oh, and brilliant step. footwork. Oh. I think the tag was made just before that pass. Yeah, it was brilliant footwork there from the Japanese number nine, Waturo Shigata. And uh, Japan, yeah, really knocking at the door at the moment. But Barbarians defending resolutely. Another attempted step there by Shigata. They look to swing it wide out to this right wing, but dropped, unfortunately. And it's possession back to France, Barbarians. The ref ruled that the marker moved before the ball was picked up, I think. So he was offside, and this is a penalty to France, Barbarians. again just before that pass got away Japan doing good to keep the France Barbarians pinned here and forcing the kick oh what a tag great tag though 
by Guillaume Provost. Oh, brilliant footwork again from Shigeda. Just giving himself that bit of time to make the decision, see what his his partners do, um, if they make the space for him to, to give that pass. Ball went backwards, so... I think the Japan player dived on it and got possession of it. Um, looks like hurt the French player a little bit, but uh, we play on. Oh, is that knocked sideways? Ref called knock on. No, I think it's play on and it's... No, it's, it's Japan must have been given for the tag. It's number 15 now, Mitsuki Miyamura. Back out to Shigeda. Passes it out right. Stays alive for Japan. No. Just bobbled forward there, unfortunately. So, possession back to France Barbarians, but it's all been played so far in the French Barbarians half. Yeah, uh, you've got France, uh, uh, the Barbarians not yet to trouble the Japanese defence. And it looks like there's actually a, a penalty here for Japan, so they're right up at the line again, looking to make all of this territory count. It looks like nearly thinking of the box try. Almost. Still no there. try it's after Mitsuki a brilliant Miyamura. last ditch tag. Oh, was looks that over? Like looked like that was good. From number 12, try. Kiko Matuso. Gets the opening try. And of course, two points there. Yeah, and two uh, points there for uh, Kiko Matsuo. Yeah, Great brilliant try. drive from her. And he said, Shane, you don't have to be over the line to put it down. Exactly. You know, the once defender, your hand and ball go over. Yeah, defender right in front of her. You know, she's not going to get to run past him, but she doesn't need to. Just got to put the ball down on the line yeah. and uh, had the awareness to do it. Yeah, and that'll be 2 0 now to Japan after Kiko Matsuo at the try. Oh, unfortunately, not held there by Guillaume Provost. And uh, it's. Japan's ball now on the 10 meter line. Yeah, and as you said, Shane, France Barbarians not really able to get out of their own half so far. And Japan looking to make that pressure count. Yeah, they're, uh, it's, it's all Japan at the moment here. Um, we see. Oh, oh, and he spun all the way in. Can hardly believe his luck. Brilliant. <laughs> Great try there. <laughs> yeah, almost a, a sheepish, sheepish wave of the hand. No, I don't Number think he 19 was too just kept going, to just getting his steps in was uh, Taku Inui. Taku Inyo. And that is 3 0 Japan in the blink of an eye. Yeah. French barbarians look a little shell shocked in this opening eight minutes. Um, We'll hope they can do a bit more in attack and, and make something of this. Yeah, almost looked like he was going to kick there. Number 16, Guillaume Prevost. But uh, yeah, they need to do something to gain yards as a French Barbarians team. Good pass out wide and well tagged. Oh, it's forward anyway, I think. And out into touch. So, Japan ball. Pass blocked there by a French hand. So, I think knocked on and uh, it's a tag. Sack is number 11, Axel Kuzniak. I think I've seen a couple of blue and red. Um, so yeah, trying to look at everyone. That's the socks. It's a mixture of blue, white, almost as if. Oh, under the, the and again they went too early. I think Shane. Yeah, they, they've I dived at the ten meter line. Yeah. For a second time. Just getting caught out by uh, the cone there, 
and the painted line we have here in UL. But I'm sure they won't make that mistake a third time. What are the <laughs> long odds they'd make it a second time? Good run down the left side here. Well tagged. Oh, brilliant run here. Tagged though. Oh, oh try to be too clever there, I think. And Japan regain possession. Japan. Oh, they don't want to be given back to yeah, France. Yeah, adjudicated to, to have dived on it um, while too close for contact. So it's uh, back to France here. Uh, Nicolas Artaud again looking for that spin move. Good chance now to set up a nice attacking play though for France. Yeah, they've got numbers over there. Tagged there. Oh, lovely offhand still going. But the whistle goes as well. There was a tag made there amidst the chaos. But much better from France Barbarians. Yeah, they're looking a bit dangerous here. And uh, Japan will have to do a bit to, to keep them out. But they're doing well so far. Oh, superb tag team there. Seems to have left a lot of space. They've left a lot of space there if the ref is going to allow that to play on. And he's uh, letting them play on. There's no one there. The, and the you will not see an easier try. The uh, Japan defensive line started subbing off while France still had possession. Yeah, try uh, there from Pierre Cardo. Uh, yeah, as you say, I don't think you'll get an easier one. Um, um, the defense just left. Um, and that is one for uh, the blooper reel for sure. Yeah, unfortunate miscommunication there. And uh, Pierre Cardot hailing from Brittany is a tag rugby player known for his role as an organiser and captain. And he was incredibly organised to pounce on that mistake from the Japanese defence. Of course, that intel courtesy of the brilliant player profiles on the tag, the, the French tag Instagram. They... Uh, did something interesting this year for their uh, player profiles. They, I think, run them all through ChatGPT, asked uh, the AI to write the profiles for them. Um, so they've got a lot of uh, a lot of content ready for us yeah. for any of these. And players. apparently, Pierre is ready to do whatever it takes to lead his team to victory and honor his native region. And uh, he certainly did that with his try that has uh, given France Barbarians a lifeline. Oh, but a great steal there. Blocked kick, and the way it just opens up. Oh, but brilliant defending from Japan. So, uh, almost ended up on a scrum here. I think jumped on by France and possibly knocked on. So, it's Japan ball. It was great defending there to cover that. He felt that um, number 12, Michael Navlin, might have uh, made it all the way himself but tried to pass it off to be sure of it and uh, unfortunately it was just covered very well by Japan great ground made there by Japan's number 9 Watur Shigeda Lachlan Grieve pops it out left. <laughs> Brilliant strength there from number 12, Kiko Matsuo. Back with Lachlan Grieve. And it's uh, some convincing attack here from Japan. They're passing well, getting it out. But oh, unfortunately, just as I say, uh, a dropped pass and possession back to France Barbarians. Great loop around and oh, back a great one-two play there. And they made some great ground there between the two of them, Berenger Cave and uh, Gillian Provost. Provost. 
Great take there by Carmel Paron. An unfortunate knock on again. And uh, Japan looked to play it quickly, but too quickly for the referee's liking. Oh, it's no. a fumble, but it's backwards. No, knock on, no. says the ref. Unfortunate again. Just a couple of uh, small errors being made at the moment by both teams. The sense of occasion possibly getting to them a bit. Great tag just before the kick. <laughs> okay, Kevin K. Roo was going to keep going there until he absolutely had to come back. And another fumble there. This time by number 17, Pierre Alexandre Versol. Just unlucky. Both teams have been in attack. Um, you know, sometimes they're looking really strong and convincing. The passes are, are slick going to hand, but just that one drop ball turns it over, unfortunately. Well held there. Oh, and well dodged. Did well to recover there. Great spin away almost was uh, Koki Akawa. Of course, there's number one and number two, the two Akawas. Could be married, could be siblings. We'll never know. We'll never know. <laughs> could just be two people with the same last could name. Could be entirely unrelated. Yeah. Oh, and the grubber at in. But it goes over the line, so it's France for old ball, out 10. Another uh, blue and red sock pairing here from uh, Olivier Bobisson. Definitely mixed messages about the whole sock situation. Yeah, might have uh, got the, the kit mixed up between the France and the France Barbarians teams. Good tag on the touchline there by Yuki Asoda. Kicking, Kicking for territory. Last touch to Japan player. Yeah, so it'll or be... Or she may count to the Barbarian player may contact there before it went out. Could have just left it. Maybe. Yeah, so it'll be Japan's ball. Nowhere to go there, and uh, they'll look to make a bit more space in this next phase. Good tagging there. Oh, Japan working back down this left side and making Kevin Kiru determined to make that tag. A little war cry from him there. Oh, superb passing from Japan. Oh, oh. and are they going to get over? Oh, what a try. Brilliant. What a try from Japan. Just wonderful stepping there from Koki Akawa. Uh, just made so much space for himself out of nowhere. And this wonderful dive here to oh, finish it off. Oh, superb. And just like that, 4-1 Japan. In this mixed open game, 30 seconds before half time. Japan won't be in much of a rush to get us started again. Big high ball in to just take that last few uh, seconds out of this half. Keeping France pinned back there. Not letting them any chance to make anything of this last play. And in fact... It'll be Japan with the last play, so we'll see if they do anything or... And there you have it, halftime, the mixed opens. Japan 4, France Barbarians 1. Make sure you come back for the second half.
We've always been good at beginnings, and beginnings are about questions. What do we value? Who do we serve? We've lived these questions for half a century, but enough to become a home of first, the first university of an independent nation, Ireland's first female university president. Along the way, we've found answers and we've built foundations, foundations we'll rely on for the journey ahead. How can we protect, regenerate, and steward this place we live in? How can we be catalysts in realizing a just and fair society for all? And who better to ask these questions? We know this place and we know our place. We are University of Limerick. back for the second half of this mixed opens game between Japan and France Barbarians and uh, Japan 4-1 up at half time Shane. Yeah they've, they've looked pretty threatening in attack you know the uh, running and, and the steps from some of the, the players have just been really really effective at making space and uh, accelerating into that gap um, France might hope to, to settle into the second half a little bit better than they fared in the first We'll see how they go. Yeah, really France soon. spent a, a lot of time in that first half defending, defending deep in their own half. But uh, they do have a point on the board, courtesy of a try from Pierre Cardot. And um, they'll be hoping, they know, at 4-1 in a mixed game, you know, you're only a, a girl try or a girl box try away from a, you know, being level or going ahead uh, when you once you keep the scoreline close. So uh, a big, big 20 minutes coming up in the second half. Yeah, exactly. Uh, as you say... These mixed games can turn on a dime very quickly. A lot of support in the, the YouTube lives chat um, for both France and Japan. We'll see who comes out on top. Number three, Beringer Kawe to get things underway with a kick. Oh, great, great tag there. Some good determined running from the Japan players. And and that number four, Kevin tag. Keiru, or number three, Berenger Koei, and determined to make tags. Oh, great pass to get it away. And uh, she's just tagged further up along the line. And Japan making good ground so far. Oh, good one, two passing there. But watched closely by uh, Axel Kusniak. Tag again. Oh, brilliant run here from Ikawa. Felt like she was just never being caught, but eventually was. And uh, here they go again, Japan. Running out of tags though, possibly. Oh, oh, what a move! What a move! Oh, but the ref's giving it a oh. pass. Agonizingly close there. Oh. Yeah. Look like a good call from the ref. 
did so good to get away from his defender, did uh, Wataru Shigeda, but uh, just unfortunately the pass <laughs> drifted forward. <laughs> He's still running. Number 14 there, uh, Nicholas Pellerin. Up kick. kick. Very good. Megs is the player. Forcing Japan back deep. And a great covering tag as well. By Guillaume Prevot. Japan switching a lot of players quickly. As soon as they get the ball, you feel they must have a an offense versus defense it must strategy. be yeah some sort of strategy um, but uh, we saw them get caught out by it for that uh, Pierre Cardot try in the yeah, first half just gifted it really to France um, and it's kept them in the game good tag there again by Nicolas Pellerin yeah Daisuke Fujiwara looked away there but they were tagged good Japan. passing by Japan just great passing they're great at keeping the ball alive just Getting those last desperate passes away before the tag's made. And, uh, oh, continue and Lachlan Grieve attempts the grubber. He would have run through a brick wall there. He's so determined to get to it. And a yeah. touch of respect there. No malice in it. Just uh, yeah, tough to slow down when you're going at this speed on a slick pitch. Uh, collisions are going to happen. Yeah, exactly. And uh, especially on a, a kick chase, you know, you're just desperate to recover possession. Otherwise, you're giving it back to the opponents. And uh, France now look to take that opportunity. But unfortunately, another drop ball there. Oh, brilliant from Lachlan Grieve. Lachlan Grieve. Oh, what a tag. What a tag from Olivia Busson. To stop Lachlan Grieve getting home free. But Japan still in dangerous territory to get yeah. over that Barbarian's line. Oh, a tag just before the pass there. So Japan will have to try again. So Miyamura. Back to Ikawa. One Ikawa to another. The Ikawa link up nearly paying off. Number one and number two. Oh, oh superb. Almost. Fifth and final, their hand goes up from the ref. They got to do something here, Japan. Go! Oh, do they get over? Look like the tag might have been made. Yeah. So so close, but a great covering tag. Oh! Uh, I think was her tag him off the ground. I think that that try will be given, will it? I think. No. The no. Ref might have seen that the. Uh, French player grabbed it, but um, yeah, it looked like it's got off the ground in between her hip is what took it off. Yeah, took it off them. Now, oh, great spin away from the first tag by Nicolas Arto, but caught on the second. Good delayed pass for the oncoming Olivia Bobison, but uh, another good tag from Japan and the kick chase not effective really, but oh, caught there was Mitsuki Miyamura. Great diving tag there by number 13. Uh, Carneal Perron. Good tag there again by France. As it looked like uh, number 11 might have been through. Keisuke Terashida. <laughs> unfortunate slip the uh, the rain's been away for a while but yeah I think signaling there a little there. tap of the boot there from Yochiro Akamura but, um, might have just had a bit too much mud between his studs uh, and slipped on that 
looked slightly forward there from France, but ref didn't see it, and they continue their attack. Good defending, though, by Japan. Yeah, rapid tagging here from Japan. Yeah, just keeping them pinned back. Making no ground currently, France. Oh, but that's one way to do it. And their number one, Nicolas Artaud. Good run here from Alexandre Delatch. And he looked like he was going to give that pass, Berenger Cave. Um, but. Not so, and it's back to Japan. Very good quick tags there from Nicolas Arto. Yeah, the uh, dummy half wasn't quick enough to get it away. So just taking down that tag count again. Um, looking good in attack oh though. yeah what a run just avoiding those tags by the closest of margins yeah, brilliant run from Shigeda there Japan on the attack again good hands and that's the sixth tag there I believe a little bit of a uh, contact so yeah just a collision there between Akewa and Perron's And uh, France Barbarians just looking a little short in ideas at the moment. Need to do something to get back into this game. Yeah. I think they uh, they might be looking for a bit of a, <laughs> a superstar to lead them out. And uh, unfortunately there, uh, Michael Navlin was just held back and nowhere to go. Great tagging by Japan. Really good defense, another great tag there coming across was uh, Kaisuke Terashida. Oh, oh, what a tag! Great tag, almost through was yeah. our toe. Number nine, Watura Shigeda. Brilliant tags from him, and just fumbled at the worst possible moment there by Alexandra Delat. So, the ref has called back the advantage, and it's Japan's ball from the knock-on by France. Almost through there, but... Oh, nearly a very good sidestep there. There, Yuki Asuda trying to run through there. Oh, burst of pace. No oh, no way. Oh, my God, what a try. Brilliant pace to just take himself away from that French defender. And it's that number one, Kuki Ikawa, with his second try of the game. And uh, then that's another contender for a try of the tournament. In his own half. Runs past three. Runs past a fourth. And just that slight little movement of the hips. Just as the uh, covering defender, Guillaume Provost, was uh, trying to make that tag. Just took it away from him was uh, Koke Akawa. Oh, unfortunately, that kick goes out on the full. So it'll be French ball from the halfway line. Yeah, and uh, just under nine minutes left here. It's going to take something special for France Barbarians to get back into this mixed open game. Uh, Japan been very, very good so far and uh, only really conceded due to a, a lapse in concentration in the first half. But since then, I've looked rock solid. Yeah, 
defense has just been really strong and putting a lot of pressure on France as well, forcing those those errors there. Um, and we see Japan again on the attack, as they have been most of this game. Backwards pass, recovered by Japan. Tag made before that pass though, so back for Japan. I think they thought that that Trying was to be the, two the, place last, there, the last tag, but they still have it. Don't often see that in the backwards visor hat. No, you'd... Uh, Wonder is it just for uh, sort of neck protection? Neck from protection, the sun? maybe, or for the aesthetic. Mm -hmm. We're all about the aesthetic, though. Unfortunate. Oh, there. good recovery there. France looking to capitalise. So then Michael Navlin. Can Navlin go all the way? He's hop stepping. But what a tag! Great tag by Japan there. Looks like Michael Navlin was home and dry. And. France now looking to uh, add to their score. Yeah, even a girl try here from France now would set up a Grand Slam finish. And it could be on here. Tagged well by Japan and, and just covered well. Oh, there. brilliant, brilliant play there from Kevin Kairou. Great sidestep to get away from that defender and just got right through there into that space and... Uh, it's 5-2 yeah, Japan oh. now. Sent him for a hot dog. But uh, is it just a consolation point or will they set up a Grand Slam finish in this last six minutes? France Barbarians now a girl box try away from being level. Yeah, with the, the time ticking down. You think they'll need to resort to something like that? Oh. Well, here goes Lachlan Grieve. And well avoided again there by Mitsuki Miyamura. Some good ground made. France just happy to leave Japan, come up to the line and attack them. Uh, but I think there might have been a, a little fumble at the, the roll ball there and possession goes back to France. Bit of unfortunate contact there, but both players in good spirit about it. Oh, and awkward fumble there from Laura Vignon. I think the tag was made just before that pass though, so they were saved mistake no one there to pick it up at dummy half and someone eventually arrives Pierre, Pierre Alexandre Versaud he's got three names France Barbarian need three points and they need them soon it's like to be forward vantage play to Japan and they look to catch France quickly on the turn um, no there was a a first tag made a little further back on Lachlan Greaves, so has to retreat and Japan look to play from here. Oh, oh. and again another searing run from Japan. Oh leaving bodies in his wake. Oh but unfortunately pass just cut out there. Um I think knocked on in the attempted intercept, so Japan will get a reset on their tag count and made a lot of ground with that run there, did Koki Akawa. And you feel, yeah, Japan get another point. It would uh, kill this game off completely. Yeah, France defending desperately on their line here and we'll see what Japan can do. Ikawa rolls it to Lachlan Grieve. What a tag. Great tag there by Béranger Koei. 
Oh, and did they get over? I think the tag might have been made in midair. Yeah, tag made, I think. But we see that again. A great dive oh, over. What a skill. What a tag that great was from number tag. six, Alexandra Delatch. And turned over. Yeah, Japan ran out of tags. And uh, France now will look to do whatever they can, really, in this last sort of three minutes. Yeah, I need to get forward quickly, do France Barbarians. I think the roll ball came out the side there, so... The ref asking them to go again. <laughs> the French attack just struggling a bit here against Japan's stalwart defence. And again, some quick tags being made just before the passes get away. They're just pinning France back here. I'd say Japan are hoping to uh, get the turnover before too much ground is eaten up. But as they say, it, Pierre Alexandre Verso makes a bit more ground. And they do kick, trying to gain yards. Oh, what a run. What oh. a run there from Nicolas Artaud. Brilliant. Artaud, will he get the bonus box? Artaud for the bonus. Brilliant recovery on that kick there and bonus box score. So it's 5 4 Japan. And France might rush back to the line here, try to get the game restarted. There's not much time to go, but they could yet get an equalizer here. Brilliant pace. Oh, the step. A just good cutting away. run. Brilliant. And yeah, Grand Slam finish for this last 90 seconds. Yeah, a boy try would level the score as the France Bavarians. A girl try would see them go a point ahead. So it is really all to play for still uh, in this last minute and a half. Yeah, and Japan just need to hang on to this ball. Yeah, nothing too dangerous, just safe passes. Yeah, it's, yeah, decent run. No turnovers, don't get intercepted. Oh, oh spin still away. spinning. Still spinning. Uh, spinning and twirling towards glory. That's a good time wasting technique. Just keep spinning until the final whistle. Japan not happy to just use oh. simple attacks and, and stroll forward. They're uh, desperate to make good use of their their last plays. Let's have a look there at <laughs> I think that was a full that was a full 720 and nearly at 1006 1080 80. that's three rotations from number 11 Kizuki Terashita France away now to a girl runner on the wing but tagged well that needed to be made as we say a girl try here would be a win for France but I think they'll take any try they can get at this stage. So yeah. Take towards a kick the in behind. Oh, a good chase on. Oh, but well oh. intercepted. Well covered by the sweeper there. The Claxton is going to go any second, and the whistle will go shortly afterwards with Japan in possession. Yeah, and just happy to kick. That's a good kick too. Forces France to play it from very deep if they want to. We're expecting the full-time klaxon soon. But we'll see what France can do before that. Oh, and they didn't need that. Unfortunate drop ball there. And uh, there's the there klaxon, the klaxon. We're into the final play. And there goes the final whistle. In a pulsating affair, it finishes Japan 5, France Barbarians 4 in this mixed opens game. And yeah. uh, well, what a, yeah, it's a seesaw back and forth battle. Really came down to the wire then, but Japan did well to, to take that win. And we'll continue on. Uh, and of course, that was our penultimate game. And as we head towards our main event of today on pitch one at 8 p.m., 
going to be the men's 30s Ireland taking on Hong Kong, China. Make sure you tune in for that, the 8 o'clock kickoff.